Welcome to this short video demonstration on backing up and restoring Windows Server with NetApp SnapProtect. The latest version of SnapProtect includes a new feature called SnapProtect for Open Systems. It adds support for non-NetApp storage to the SnapProtect version 10 disk-to-disk -disk tape backup application. SnapProtect offers a single pane of glass and unified management for 7MO data on tap, clustered data on tap, and many non-NetApp storage systems. The first thing we're going to show is how to add a new client to be backed up by SnapProtect. So first select your file system and select Windows. Then enter your IP address. Then enter the host name. Now that we've configured the client, we'll install the software and that means installing the agent. Rather than going directly to the Windows host, we're going to use the ComServe and push the install to the Windows host. So first we'll put in the Windows host credentials and the VSS provider. From here we'll just take the default options. and now we're finished. So now we see from the progress bar that it's finished. Now we'll hit refresh so we can see our Windows machine. And you can see the icon next to the IP address. It's the, uh, it's the Windows logo. Now our next step is to go and create a storage policy. So we'll select a storage policy name and click Next. Now we'll just uh, select the defaults. Now we select the DFM information. Now that we've created the storage policy, we need to modify it. So we'll select our SPAS policy, select primary snap. Now we'll provision the resource pool. Select the resource pool and add. What we're saying here is that the first snapshot will actually take place from the non-NetApp storage. And that data will be snap vaulted to the resource pool of our choice. Now we'll go into this properties menu, select snapshot and enable the backup copy. So click OK and then proceed to select your subclient. Now we'll create the subclient and specify the data that needs to be backed up. Type in the subclient name. Now we'll browse and select a, a particular folder. In this case, we'll select the Win Backup folder. Next, we select the storage policy that we created. To run the storage policy, you go to All Tasks, click on Run Replication Workflow. So you'll see a screen that, where you can see the schedules and the policy name and you go to the job controller tab to see the progress. So once the job completes and here it's completed we'll now do a restore. So browse and then select the files you want to restore and here you've got several options you can choose including uh, to overwrite files, uh, or to recreate mount points, that sort of thing. In this case, we're going to create a new folder to restore to. So I'll enter restore win backup as the directory name we want to create in E. So select that and click OK. And again, go back to the job controller just to see the status of the restore. And as you can see, the job is finished. 
So this is the folder we created, and you can go down now and see that the files have been restored. And that's it. So we've demonstrated how to backup and restore files on a Windows server. So thanks very much for listening. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about SnapProtect, go to netapp.com and search on SnapProtect.